What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about something that, um, well, plagues every Trans Am owner. And if it hasn't plagued you yet, it will in the future. So uh, just be ready for it. But that is the, the door panels on these stupid cars. So um, my car is a pretty clean car as far as uh, interior goes, but it has two cracks, actually three cracks. So this isn't really common for it to happen on the front side, but this one is super common. And then I have another one here. So this door panel is completely trashed. Now, the other side, the, the passenger side, no cracks whatsoever, which is, it's really rare for the mileage on this car. I've, I've talked to people that have 20,000 miles on their car and these have cracks in them. So what I'm gonna do to is I'm gonna replace it. So um, unfortunately, there's no good fix for this. If you catch this one when it first starts, you can take this apart and pull it back together. That way it's not as noticeable when it's, um, it's just started at the top, but when it's all the way through, there's really no good way to fix it. Or at least I don't know any good way and I've not read of any good way. So what I did was I went to a salvage yard in uh, Searcy, Arkansas. It's an all Trans Am Firebird Camaro salvage yard, like a fourth gen salvage yard. And he had a good door panel. So, uh, or what he said was good. So the downside is like the 2000 to 2002 cars are an ebony interior, like what you see here. But the um, 98, 99 are a like, a like a charcoal color, so it's a little bit lighter. So that kind of hinders the finding one. So it's kind of tough to find one. So when you find one, you try to scoop it up, and sometimes they're pretty expensive. I've seen them go up, up to $450. But anyway, I picked this one up for $250. Uh, I get it home, and it's not here right now. It's at the upholstery shop, but I'm going to talk about that. The, um, I get it home. There's no cracks. And the guy said that it needed to be cleaned up. The problem is, is the door handle on the new one has a ton of blotches and I have no idea what's going on with it and it won't come out. So uh, I took it to my upholstery guy, seeing if he could remove my handle off of mine and put it on the old one. So I took my panel down to him. He was able to get the old one off. So we're gonna go uh, pick that up. He's gonna put my handles on. So I'm gonna take this off real quick. And uh, unfortunately, like I said, there's just no good way to fix this other than replacing it. So if you clicked on this video hoping there would be a good way to replace it, unfortunately there's not. But we're going to pop this one off and uh, then I'll show you the new one when we get back with it. We are back from the upholstery shop and uh, he did a great job. I'll list his info down below. If you guys are in the Southwest Missouri area, um, Charlie's Custom Upholstery, he does a great job. This is something that I've seen people take apart, but these panels aren't really made to take apart. Um, they're melted together from the factory. So um, taking them apart is kind of a tedious process and I just recommend using an interior guy. But you can see he's taken the handle off of my um, cracked door panel and moved it to the new door panel. Um, I also wasn't very happy with the fact that I purchased this. The guy said it was completely perfect. I get it home and let me see if I can show you on camera. All those blotches, they will not come out. The other thing these things are known for is the actual handle or the, the piece itself here, this plastic, it's kind of a rubberized plastic um, that's vacuum sealed on here. It, it's starting to pull off. And so I wasn't very happy about that either from a guy who told me that this was perfect when I purchased it. But regardless, I do have the new one back and we're gonna put it back on. He did a great job, like I said, swapping the handle. So let's get this thing put back in.
it is all finished up. Obviously, it is way better than having those cracks in the door panel. Um, you know, I probably could have dealt with the normal crack that they have, but the fact that it had three in it, it just drove me absolutely crazy, especially since the interior of this car is such in such good shape. But, you know, I'm sorry, guys, that it doesn't help the people that already have the cracks and don't want to spend the money to buy a new panel. Uh, unfortunately, I bought a crappy panel. I was there and looked at it, but I thought the stuff that I was looking at would clean off. So that's my bad. But I don't know that I would have spent $450 on one like I've seen them go for online. Uh, you know, that's that's kind of the downside of these things is they're getting really expensive because they're getting really hard to find and uh, Finding one without cracks is even harder But I will tell you if it starts to crack down the road I will show you the process of pulling it back together and reinforcing it probably should do that now, but I'm gonna wait um, I don't open my door sometimes people say pushing your door from that point is what helps cause that to crack um, I don't use that part to open my door and I'm conscious of that every time I get it out of the car But hopefully you guys you like this video if you do please smash that thumbs up button if uh, If you haven't subscribed, please consider going down there and subscribing while you're down there Hit the bell icon that way you're notified every time I drop a new video and well stay tuned because we got more to come on this car and all the other ones <laughs>